Hello, Internet. I'm Juicebox, and I have not played Salmon Run for a while now. I think we'll probably do okay. Also, look at all the Splatoween stuff. Team Wizard, like probably everyone else right here. No, I'd win. Except he's gonna be Team Ninjas, and who's gonna be on Team Ninjas other than me? Hi, lizard guy. Welcome to the stream. I'm hoping that my uh, voice holds out. I kind of did a lot of screaming yesterday. Also, oh boy, first salmon run stream in a while, and we get to play with the X Blosher. hope that not too many of our teammates give up when they get the x washer Can you hear me over the scary Halloween noises, by the way? I didn't have a lot of time to accurately test out. Is the fishing gone? It's not. I just didn't turn it on. It's been four days since I streamed. I've completely forgotten how any of this works. It's all gone. Okay, let's see if I can turn it on now. And fishing should be on now. now. I just need two seconds to get back to my stream hi, stream page so I can see chat again. Who is screaming? Someone who may or not may or may not be dead now. I don't know. The sound effects were recorded um at least 30 years ago. Stop going around. Jim sheep. Am I audible over the screaming noises, though? I still don't know about that. It's... Like I said, I didn't really have time to play with the audio settings. Oh, good. I can't read their name. Goopums? Seems to understand what their weapon is capable of. Oh, and now I immediately grab an egg. Should have killed that fish. My teammates would, you know, just let the snackers do their job. 
What more can I complain about? We're already well over quota. Didn't make the jump. Sweet time to let me pick up that egg. the basket guys I just can't collect them because I got too much lag you're not coming out alive and we survived woo bad for a first salmon run in a couple weeks. I didn't collect the most eggs, I didn't kill the most, I didn't die though. How am I at catalog 42 when I've barely been playing this game? Pretty nice to be freed from the cycle of seasonal catalogs, though. Not having any real incentive to play this game every single day. Just playing it when I feel like it. This stream also won't be terribly long today. I gotta go do work to get money. It's not gonna be a short stream either, but... Hi, Reuben.
Will you let me know if the uh, horrible sounds are louder than I am? Or if I'm muted? How are the roller coasters? Pretty good. I got to ride the two that I didn't ride last time I was there. Thanks. The two I didn't ride last time were a bit older. I guess I can't call them new to me. No, I do remember. I remember when they were built. They're still really good. They're not as technically interesting as, like, technology-wise interesting as some of the newer roller coasters there, but just well-designed, not too intense, but pretty intense. was fun. The roller coaster part was fun. The Halloween part was slightly disappointing. Okay, will you please let me just pick up an egg? Hi, Steve. Stop dying. It does sound... The sound does seem wrong, but it ain't the noises. It could just be that my voice is a little... Oh, that's... It's high tide. It could just be my voice is a, a bit tired. Because I did a lot of screaming. Because of the roller coasters. I'm not used to roller coasters anymore. To me, the Halloween part would not matter. But to you, it probably does. It mattered a lot. And the Halloween part yesterday was... Not great. Not terrible. It just it focused a lot more on making creepy sets and not so much on having things jump out and scare you. And the things jumping out and scaring you is my favorite part. Which I know is the opposite of how I feel about video games with things jumping out and scaring at me. Or jumping out at me and scaring me, but in real life it's funny. In video games it's annoying. Are you okay with it being all right? The roller coaster made up for it, basically. I had a good day. The place I went Saturday night was crazy. Like, really good. Instead of having to wait in line, really, they assigned everyone a number. That was your group. And so while you waited for your group number to get called, it was just like this really small county fair type vibe. Except instead of, you know, a normal stage show, it was like guys with chainsaws just popping up randomly in the crowd. Or this clown that was breathing fire. That was pretty cool.
and just, you know, a general area that we can all just, like, have some snacks, get a drink, watch animatronics pop up and scare people who don't expect it. That's always my favorite when people get scared by things that aren't even alive and trying to scare them. Love that. And then just the haunted, you know, actually supposed to scare you part Saturday night was really good. Towards the very beginning, they had this uh, bit where you have to squeeze through these, like, this hallway with inflated walls. So it feels really claustrophobic, but also it went on for way too long. And it, like, halfway across the whole squeezing through this narrow hallway bit, I felt like I was supposed to go to the right. And so when I found out I could go forward, I wasn't sure if I was going the right way or if I was, like, accidentally going into the area the actors hang out. Which was great! It made it so I had this whole, you know, feeling of claustrophobia and doubt, which is something I'm not used to in a haunted attraction of any sort. You know, at this point, it's just, you know, I know what to expect, I know where people are gonna pop out of me, but what if, like these guys, they set it up so I don't know if I'm going the right way? <coughs> uh. But yeah, the screaming. The screaming. Did a lot of that yesterday. My voice is not good for it. Crab versus 4D chess. I do a lot more weird Halloween stuff than normal people do, so yeah, if they come up with something that surprises me, that's good on them. Where... We are so far behind right now. Oh, j just... Tadaima, great job. Taking so that egg doesn't get anywhere close to the basket. You could have literally waited a quarter of a second and helped us get that egg, and instead you made it so that we didn't get it at all. And now we're not going to make quota. Not that that one egg would have made any difference. Halloween's still a weird concept, and I do not like it IRL, but an in internet, it's fine. I like it a lot, IRL. I like the fact that I can have my house all decorated weird and creepy for a month, and this is fine, this is socially acceptable. When I was a kid, we would go really for the time to all out on it. Make our house into that house that the kids, the little kids are afraid to go anywhere close to. And sometimes their parents were afraid to go close to. But where I live now, we don't really get any trick or treaters, so there's no real point in making it that scary outside. Gushers again. Gonna do the other problem with gushers, and they're not gonna collect the eggs. It's Tadaima is going to kill 
the snatchers, I can bring the eggs closer to the basket. Still, different weapon, same problem. I am not going to play with the Daima next round if I can help it. Okay, we've made it through round one. Oh, hey, Pleb King, welcome to the stream. I already said that the place I went last night for their Halloween stuff, they did a good job of making creepy sets, but not so much on having people jump out to scare you. So, they had multiple mazes, so that's generally how theme parks work. If they have a Halloween thing, they have multiple areas for you to get scared at. And honestly, the only one I felt that did a really good job <laughs> was the clown area. Which, I don't find clowns scary, like, at all. Um... And this wasn't scary either, but it was very effective at being, you know, a creepier version of just a standard, like, state fair funhouse kind of a boring, honestly, place for me. But this version... Wow, Steve, you are useless. We are at 400 EVP. And you guys don't get basic concepts about positioning. And not making it so that your teammates can't shoot things. And Tadaima, why are you ignoring that Snatcher now? That it is a position that could be useful. Just... Hmm. These are some frustrating teammates. Is Steve the guy screaming in the background? No, Steve is one of my teammates. Also, I can't hear what noises are being played on stream right now. And it's been too long since I've listened to this CD all the way through, so I don't know exactly what's on it. Hey Steve. Hey Steve, did you know that your ex-blasher can, like, blob explosive blobs through your teammates and you don't need to stand directly in front of us? You actually have longer range than two of these other guns? likes Halloween because he hates the Utes. I feel it's taking away from Dutch culture. I feel that. And hate you for especially the three I know who tried introduction of Halloween stuff. Sounds like a guy losing at Valorant. I'm glad I don't know what that sounds like, but I can probably guess where we are in the CD now. It used to be very much guys messing around in voice chat from Team Fortress 2. I don't think Team Fortress 1 existed when these sounds were recorded. We pass. 
last. Why well, I want to stick with Tadaima and Steve. Like, Wakairi and Tadaima are almost certainly on a team. Because those two words go together. Wakairi never gets my way. Maybe they're good. Maybe they're parrying us. I don't know. I had a match where someone went blub, blub, blub every now and then in the voice chat so that these noises are possible. Oh, also, hi, Rishi. I didn't really realize you were here. I thought Pleb King's raid was just himself. Snatcher because I had to shoot the eel instead. Hey Steve, uh, have you considered not standing directly in my way? I would appreciate it. Bike, now if only you know how to ride. You don't, you don't know how to ride a bike? Any more cool stuff that happened? Um, yeah, lots. That place I went on Saturday, again, before, like, they really got started, they had this whole parade at the beginning where all the monsters and staff went around, like, the, uh, waiting area. Some kind of tribute to, like, one of their fire safety people that they lost. another case of like people don't show they appreciate you until you're gone it was still a nice gesture though where is oh there he is I thought I could wait and kill that Snatcher and get a bunch of eggs in the basket, but then Steve showed up. And I was like, nope, nope, Steve's gonna kill that Snatcher. He's not gonna let the Snatcher bring 10 eggs to the basket. I appreciated not having school tomorrow because someone died. They are an absolute stranger to me. 
a free day off of school, I guess. A lot of schools and stuff were closed yesterday here because of uh, Columbus Day or International no, uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, depending on who you ask. Which is why we were able to go to an amusement park yesterday. That's why it was open. Oh, before the, uh, scary Halloween thing I did on Saturday, I spent that afternoon hanging out with Phil in the woods, and so between going to the haunted thing and our time in the woods, we went to go get food, you know, as you do that time of day. And I had the best curry chicken I've ever had at a Chinese food restaurant that was next to a Dollar Tree and a vape shop. And I will probably never have an opportunity to go there again. A little sad, little good, I don't know. I guess be happy it happened. Don't worry that it won't happen again, type situation. The place we went Friday was honestly a little disappointing. It was funny, uh, it's at this, um, this like catering venue type place, like somewhere people have weddings. It kind of came off like it was their first time doing this. Just, like, it was organized, right? Because that's what these people do, they organize events. But this particular event, they didn't seem to quite know what they were doing. It was funny when we got there, pretty much the entire security staff was like hanging out in the, in the parking lot playing base or yeah, playing basketball. We got there when they opened, and they were like, uh, you can sign in, but probably shouldn't go into the, the maze until it gets darker. So while we were waiting to get into the maze... Oh, hi, Vopker. Ruben has no experience with catering being good. Well, that's pretty much all these people do, so I assume they have to be pretty good at it. Anyway, while we were waiting for it to get a little darker, we walked back to our car and saw that uh, comet that's out there for now. That won't come back for 
80,000 years? What happens when you hit the ball out of the parking lot? Did I ever successfully say the word basketball? Because that's what they were playing, not baseball. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, I haven't streamed in like four days, so... It's, I might as well just never stream before, it's my first stream ever. For all the good that my previous experience is going to do me, and my uh, ability to talk is going to be. That makes sense eventually, I guess. Somehow not dead. Anyway, uh, the way the catering place did it, was like, they had it as a series of little spooky things you went to do. So the first one was this big catering tent with, like, inflatable walls in it, and the inflatable walls just had, like, creepy pictures on them, and... It was set up like a maze, but they didn't have any actors in like the nooks and crannies and stuff to pop out of you. So it's just like a minute or so, probably more than it was more than a minute. But it was a sort of short, winding walk through a place with like scary pictures on the walls. Some of which were generic, some of which were like, oh, hey, that's, uh, that's Pennywise from the new It movie. So that wasn't, like, scary at all, which was good because we got kind of, like, paired up with this mom and her kid, and the kid was just, like, terrified of everything. So that was a good warm-up for her. And then the next section was, was the food good? At the catering place, there was no food. I mentioned there the location's other normal type of business. Not because they were engaging in it at the time, but because it gives you an idea of like what kind of business person type of thinking is going on in arranging all of these things. Like catering wants things to look nice. But they weren't catering here. They were not playing to their strengths. They were trying to make a creepy maze to walk through, or a trail consisting of a few different parts. The second part being this, um, nice. The second part being just, like, a really open tent, and there was, like, a little diorama on the left that Satan was just kind of, like, hanging out in. But he didn't really do anything. And there were these witches in there, and they didn't really do anything.
So that part was a disappointment. And then at the end of the second tent thingy, one of the security staff had to like shine at us with his flashlight to show us how to get to the part that's like a trail in the woods, which kind of takes you out of the creepy mood and more just like, oh yeah, here's a security guy showing us where to go now. The woods part at the catering place was good. They had a lot of creepy pr props. They had a couple of guys in the woods that popped out at sort of unexpected places. They had the chainsaw that every haunted attraction needs. Except he wasn't close enough to the trail when he started the chainsaw, so it didn't really scare anyone. The part in the woods also had this pair of really big animatronic dogs. You know, supposed to be scary dogs. But the girl who got stuck with us was like, oh, puppies. So it helped her not be so scared, at least for a moment. To the point where she could just sort of rationally, haha, <laughs> Sam and Yahweh. So she could sort of rationally, uh, Engage with the fact that at the end of the wooded part a dude pops out Not so much pops out, but a dude is there with a chainsaw that he started a safe distance away and so You know it wasn't really that startling to have the chainsaw go off because like oh the chainsaw over there And it's coming toward us The next part was probably the best part of the catering place. They had a just barely well lit enough to see properly uh, maze made out of like scrap wood and pallets and stuff with various spooky farm related things like scarecrows and pumpkin monsters. And again, a couple of guys in there to you know jump out and scare you. That well positioned areas to make the scare effective. Tadaima, get out of my way. How many times am I going to say Tadaima, get out of my way before he leaves this lobby? Anyway. So the sort of outdoor, dark, wooden maze part was good. And the part that was in the woods was pretty good. And then the last part was just like... It was indoors, like in a kind of garage. But it was only like two rooms, and it was a straight line. And when we got there, there was this dude who was dressed in business casual, who was just like, uh, there's only supposed to be two of you. So, like, the first room was completely wasted, because it was just used on this manager, I guess. Separating our group into two groups of two instead of four people. And then the second of the two rooms was just clowns, which don't 
they're not scary to me. <laughs> For context, I could not hear you over my dog. I see. I don't really feel like repeating all that, though. Because... My voice is not in the best shape today. Let's go ahead and paint everything for y'all. That is what this gun's good for. used up their special trying to break a box they're just not going to get whatever you got that you got that we got all the eggs from the one box good enough French test went terrible, horrible. You said something about that on the Discord, that it wasn't made right. Though now you have to think. The teacher made a mistake with designing the test. You already know they made a mistake, though. They're gonna correct it, right? Yeah, we were instructed to learn 1 through 7, but it was probably 1 through 9. Is that like chapters and units? Because I would be surprised if you're in high school taking French and just learning how to count one through seven. No idea, send them an email and ask them to check if the test was being, was made correctly on the test itself. Morale reasons. And 
Whee! Can I get the second one? There we go, we got two. Units, I guess. Yeah, that would make a big difference if you were learning vocabulary for one section of the textbook. And you were actually supposed to learn the part that was uh, two sections later. Uh-oh, grillers. Those are kind of weird on this map. This is a pretty good anti-baby weapon, though. Realized that guy was on me until it was far too late. All right, this is bad. That went fine. Don't know wonder it felt like my French was terrible. Isn't everyone's French terrible, though? Even if you are studying the correct units in the book. Even if the teacher tells you which unit to study correctly. Has anyone ever really said, my French is great? I am so good at French. Well, that could have been a better laser. I'd really love to use my crab tank to deal with these fly fish, but so long as this many are summoned all at once. A lot of eggs next to the basket. Good times. <laughs> Scary noise is cool. Plus, how have I been? I did a lot of Halloween stuff. Friday, Saturday, took Sunday off, didn't feel like it. Monday, went to an amusement park, and then did Halloween stuff in the evening. So I've done a lot of screaming this weekend. So my voice is a little bit tired. Honestly, I screamed more doing roller coasters than I did at Halloween stuff, but that's just... I'm a lot more vocally afraid of falling several hundred feet 
even if I'm strapped into some contraption, than I am just some guy popping out of me. But sometimes you gotta, you know, strap yourself into a contraption and uh, fall a couple hundred feet and scream irresponsibly to enjoy the loop loops. What is this noise? I don't know. I can't hear it. Mega Moo. We have a new Salmon Run employee. We no longer have Salmon Yahweh. Probably focus on being in the turrets, but the way this has gone so far today, probably not gonna let me do that. I have like two more shots. Guys, we've had so many eggs right at the basket. Why are they not going into the basket? I don't have the ink to fire. If the teacher somehow asks you to tell them I was in severe emotional distress and need to get an even higher grade as compensation. Yay, they get it. Why is no one firing the cannons? They weren't collecting eggs, they weren't shooting the cannons, what were my teachers what were my teammates doing? Whatever. Steal little jump scare, the first one of the season. for making it so I can't shoot anything. Great job. Good job pushing me around by not understanding that your inkling has collision with the rest of us. And if you're out of ink and standing directly in front of my line of fire, I can't ink us out of the problem situation. Please, 
Richelski, make, make a tutorial video on what to do when your teammates are being an active detriment to the team, preventing you from even moving. I would love to see you teach us how to deal with that effectively. The history test went well, good. Even though you're not taking history next year, are you? Not enough eggs to save us. We need six more in the next 30 seconds. No, I am dropping it as fast as I can. Press the minus button on my controller to get rid of my teammates. Ooh, okay, so I have the crab tank. I can do some pretty good damage here. Especially considering I don't also have Never mind. Okay, if I survive right here, and I'm not going to because that. Oh, wait. I could have sworn I was going to die to that big shot shockwave. But no, we're good. Everything's fine. We beat it in like less than a minute. So for once to die, my good job. You use your weapon well. Which button does the banning? I have to go into this whole... I have to go into, like, the play logs. Sorry, I got a DM that I have to think about. The noise certain uh, contain a Discord notification sound. Oh. Well, the CD dis this CD predates Discord by quite a bit. It might be that you're just hearing Discord notification noises coming across my microphone or Actually, they could pop up on my desktop, and I'm just not hearing them for some reason. But I thought when you were streaming, Discord disabled notification noises. To, you know, try to prevent a future Crucia situation. See, we 
Which way is he going? Down here? Those eggs are gone. It's not here. Could, could, you guys, could you guys like back up a little bit, you know? Get the eggs a little closer. Do the baskets. Just a little bit. Pick quota. We're fine. No more things to worry about for the next 10 seconds. You heard it three times today, so it's probably coming from my desktop and I'm not hearing it for some reason. Flies. Oh boy. Good times. I don't know which direction Snatcher's coming from yet. There they are. So yeah, this is actually where we want the eggs to be. Mostly. The I mean, Impedaima just threw an egg down on the ground. Why? Like, he's at the basket. He could have backed up. Whatever. There is no knowing the minds of randoms. At the end of the day, we're all alone. Islands inside of ourselves. I don't feel like my bullet should have gone through that force field. Thank you. 
I think I killed one snatcher with that. And I didn't have enough time to use the full ink tank to throw an egg. No, we are not. My island has too many shipwrecks to be lonely. Let me have my comforting cliches sometimes, Reuben. I mean, I guess that's not very comforting to other people, the idea that our, not, our minds are unknowable since we only have, like, words to communicate with. And words are not, like, ultimate. They do not mean anything more than what we agree that they mean on, and people are free to disagree on what words mean. Plus the gulf between intent, our actions, and what our actions actually are, and what our actu actions actually do. Like, I don't think Tadaima is trying to be a pain. They just don't know better. We also have pictures, and those can help. They can. Go that way, guys. Go this way. Less booyahing, more egg collecting, or painting, or killing fish or something. Just, just do stuff. Saturday? But it's, it's not even the end of... It's not the end of October, it's not even November yet. Why are we doing Christmas already? had to cut some of the plants. Oh, so you're getting plants ready. That makes more sense. Yeah, plants don't work in our conveniently with our calendars. They work on their own time.
Timoregs. It's gonna be hard to get them. That's gonna help a lot. Two more eggs. Are they on the field? They're over there. Plants need time to grow. Yeah, at the end, we were definitely not working hard anymore. But don't tell the boss that. As long as the job gets done, does it really matter how hard you were working? It shouldn't. That would have been a very embarrassing death. They've already made quota, so I'm just gonna focus on killing stuff. Isn't that what we're here for? Shoot fish. Just throw in the sticks. Making primitive spiders from the plant stems that we needed to cut off. Alright, and that's our last interaction with Tadaima, is shooting them with the crab tank at the end of a round. The maps will probably change. Oh, not spiders, spears. That could be more fun, I guess, than spiders. Right. Let me go take a minute to go grab water. I will be back.
Oh, the horror sounds restarted. I didn't think they would do that. Whatever. How do you make a primitive spider? I don't know enough about primitive spider... Like... I don't know enough about spider evolution to make that joke, actually. I could come back to you in, like, a week, maybe. Say what a primitive spider would look like. It wouldn't really take that long to find out, I guess. Anyway, hi, I'm back. I... For once, in the history of the stream, know what I'm going to be streaming on Friday. Already, on Tuesday. We're gonna do Mortuary Assistant. Now let me adjust my model a little bit. I wish I could get this preset so I don't look quite so much of a staring down my nose at you guys. Anyway, I... As I understand it, Mortuary Assistant's a good game for making this dreamer scream. And it's not very long. As long as you don't try to, you know, 100% it. So we won't have a situation like last Friday where I get to the, what was apparently the absolute end of the game, like if I had finished that one last part of the church, it would have been like, a cutscene credits roll one more time, that's it you couldn't hear me over the not that loud noises, oops anyway, I was saying that on Friday we're playing Mortuary Assistant don't... I've never watched, like, a whole stream of it. Nice. But I've seen plenty of clips. I've seen enough clips of it making people freak out on stream. That I think we'll get some good, you know, me being scared noises. I want to kill that fish. One more. One of my teammates has Cyrillic letters in his name, and I can't read it. Oh, hey, it's no one with his pineapple attack. How about this pineapple attack? Which one of our pineapples shall prevail? I feel pretty confident about mine, since it has a gun. Winds is bigger. Where are you finding a pineapple bigger than this? This pineapple's bigger than my head. You know, usually when you're breeding fruit, you can only control so many traits at a time. I would imagine a much bigger pineapple than my head would probably not taste that great. It also probably wouldn't have a gun. Mm. 
Root. How do you control a house-sized pineapple? Oops, I missed. Also, the internet classic picks, or it didn't happen. I need some visual evidence of your house-sized pineapple. Yeah, and also the tank has a tank in mine. I need photos. Photos of the house-sized pineapple tank. <laughs> you stole it. What happens when the rightful owners show up? I doubt anyone who owns a pineapple tank is going to just take it lightly if you steal it. Guess who you stole it from? Uh... The Hawaiian Army. Oh cool, it's already wave three. Three more of those eggs in there. Uh, okay, well, they took out everything I was planning to use that Booyah Bomb on. Which is good! I like these teammates. You stole it from somebody who lives in a pineapple under the sea. I'm pretty sure Spongebob is, like, the size of a soda can. So when you say your pineapple is the size of a house, okay, true, but it's a house for, for very small sponges. Okay, x -blosher. Get behind me, please. There we go. It is technically a house size, yes. But a very small house. Very small sponge house. Ooh, we got gold. I'm gonna put away my pineapple tank now. Let's not show it off too much. You don't know who's going to try to copy it. Steal our pineapple tank technology. Potato attack? You can't just change the means of engagement. I'm sure there's something against that in the Geneva Convention. And neither you nor me are rich enough to get around the Geneva Convention. They would take us to The Hague. Unless you are rich enough to uh, get around the Geneva Convention. In that case, please subscribe. I would like some of your money. You have plenty. I'm already a wanted criminal by God. 
God is fairly wanting in the whole executive enforcement department. Just because he's got a warrant for you doesn't mean he's gonna, you know, serve it because he hasn't exactly got the, uh, the manpower to do that. His people are a lot more focused on, you know, funding. Have I ever heard of a potato cannon? Yes. I unfortunately never built one as a child. It was one of those things that I was hoping to build at some point, but never never did it. What if you built a pineapple cannon? It would be much more expensive. A couple pounds of potatoes are pretty cheap. One pineapple is... You know, it costs money to have that one pineapple. It would feel like a shame to just launch it. Okay. Here we go. And the eggs landed on top. Detect if that uh, flipper floppers zone got painted. Can we break fit. Can we break fifty. We got fifty eggs. Fifty one. I think Doby got one more in. Or no hay. What is stopping you from making one now? Uh, the fact that I am an adult and if I broke something I could go to jail. If my potato landed somewhere where it was not supposed to, I could go to jail. <laughs> You burned the water, and it is on fire now. What just smacked me into the water? The closest I've come to burning water is uh, setting ice cubes on fire. Which was, again, stuff I could get away with because I was a miner. shoot in your backyard or in a field if you have permission from the owner. I don't want to talk to the guy who owns the field next to my house. The flags that he flies tell me he has
beliefs about stuff that I find idiotic, backwards, and frankly terrible. Oh, I shouldn't have killed that fish. South, no one. There are some pretty terrible people out here. A lot of them are in positions of power, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, no potato shooting. And I don't think that the field I used to launch rockets on, even though that is, as far as I know, still legal, I don't think that they let you launch rockets there anymore. Would you believe me if I turned a pineapple into a monster the size of a mountain? How's the... Like, that would rot pretty quick, right? Probably not. Like, the outer shell would rot. But it kind of was a thing finding... Okay, so when penicillin was discovered, right? It was derived from just bread mold. But in order to mass produce penicillin, they had to find something that could be grown, like, in a vat instead of just in sheets. And so the only reason that we have mass-produced penicillin is just some scientist who was working on the project happened to find a melon that was rotting at a grocery store that happened to have a strain of penicillin bacteria that would grow all the way through the melon. But presumably their aerobic bacteria mold, aerobic mold. I don't know of any anaerobic mode mold. I also don't know of any marine mold, like fungus. Anyway, what I'm saying is if it, it's pretty unlikely that a mold would grow too deep into your mountain-sized pineapple monster mountain. I need a right there painted. I need here painted. I need that and that painted for safety reasons, and we're good. Modified creature destruction will follow the same rules as us? To a large extent, yes. Oh, 
I mean, you can make it a robot or whatever. But if you're working with, you know, some sort of biologically engineered monster, it's gonna need an energy source. It's gonna need to be able to turn other things into energy that it can use. Usually that involves oxygen on this planet. It doesn't necessarily have to. Uh, it just ate a nuclear power plant. And assuming it's like those bacteria in Chernobyl, those bacteria in Chernobyl, all it's getting out of that, bact that power plant is whatever energy is in the rods. It's not like, you know, hooking into the grid. It's not using straight up DC power. Good and these steel eels coming after me. Well, we didn't quite. Hey, it fused with the power plant. Is it going to carry around all the cooling water, too? What, what's the plan for when it starts uh, melting down? I don't know. How would I know? Let's hope they never actually put you in charge of a power plant, then. Who was they? I don't know. Just like I don't know if I'm having a conversation with a child or a very strange adult. Right here, right here, right here, and perfect. Wee destruction. Look, I don't know in what way it fused. What's it look like? Is the power plant moving? Is the... Does this mountain-sized pineapple monster have any sort of means of locomotion? Or is it just as, you know, sedentary as a normal pineapple? Because my pineapple 
This pineapple's portable. We take it where it needs to go to fight the other pineapples that need to be fought. do this for about another 30 minutes. So can I do with mine. You can move around a mountain-sized pineapple monster that is fused with a power plant. I don't know that a power plant would produce enough energy to move a power plant. At least not at any sort of speed. They can lure it around. What do you use to lure a pineapple? Humans. It's finally come to this, huh? The day when the pineapples bite the hand that feeds them, essentially. No one ever said pineapples are very smart or very self aware of who makes it possible for them to grow into mountainous sized pineapple monsters. They're not doing that on their own in nature. Nah. It takes humans who wish to bring the pineapple's tribute. A nuclear bomb was shot at the pineapple. It didn't seem to have an effect. So we're looking at like a Godzilla level threat here. Which means we either need to get our own Godzilla or Donkey Kong with some sort of like giant banana. Give, jo give Donkey Kong a super mushroom. If we can just convince him to eat it. This isn't looking good. Got two lasers pointed at me. Don't take care of that though. That's six eggs. 
double rain is not going to do... Oh! It is eating a city. That's not good. Have you maybe thought that creating a mountain-sized pineapple tank monster was a bad idea if it's going to be eating a city? Just generally speaking, if city is not worth that much if it doesn't have people in it, and I don't think people are going to survive being eaten. I missed. I'm gonna go deal with this. Getting some pretty terrible misses today. Shot. Take one more shot. We got a near has level max already. Crazy enough. We've also been lucky to fight, what, three Ouroboruses already? We've only been going for two hours? Oh no, it's now giving birth to thousands of other pineapples. Hmm, that's something for me to look into. How do pineapples reproduce? Because I know what a pineapple looks like when it's growing, <clears throat> but I don't know what a pineapple how a pineapple, like, what its seeds look like, or are the chunks in the fruit the seed? No idea. I'm riding a pineapple now. How's the internet service on the ride on pineapple? I hope it's pretty good. It's amazing. Pineapple internet protocol. Someone's got to look into that. Uh, David E. Alta Miria? I'm gonna call you Dave. Thanks for the follow, Dave. I haven't been paying attention to my teammates' names. I think Linky is still here. You need to tame one first. It's like that Knights and Magic anime where, like, they were constrained in their mecha because they had to use, like, these standardized monster hearts to power it. And then, at, like, the very end of the anime, the little engineer kid's like, but wait, can we just use bigger monster hearts? And they're like, uh, yeah, I guess. So, like, you can't mass produce pineapple internet protocols, because you gotta tame the pineapples first, but once you do, whoever tames that pineapple gets to have amazing internet that outpaces everyone else. Of course, it's still constrained by You know, relativity, I would assume.
even though uh, winds, pineapples do seem to have other kinds of strange reality-defying powers, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's not constrained by relativity. Who knows? I don't. Ooh, that's not good. And I could have fixed the situation just by moving a little bit back. I thought I had trapped myself. The child pineapples are not fully grown. This sounds like a Tribble situation. Like, if they reproduce and grow at that rate, we're, we're looking at a... Uh, not gray goo, pineapple color. Yellow goo? Whole earth just being consumed by man-eating pineapples? We should probably work on the theme song. They're gonna take over the earth. Don't worry, the competition's not super super strict when we're talking about theme song for killer vegetables, or fruits in this case. Well, actually it's fruits in the other case, because, you know, killer tomatoes are also fruits. Botanically speaking. Slash culinarily speaking. Well, no, not culinarily. Tomatoes are not fruits cul culinarily. God. I need to watch what I'm saying. I could be putting out misinformation about plant classification on my Twitch stream being watched by three people right now. How could I sleep at night if I knew I was misinforming such a vast and important audience? What do we call the original? The original giant pineapple? I mean, you call the giant man-eating mountain-sized attack pineapple whatever it asks you to, I guess. Sir? You call it sir? Or ma'am? I guess if we gave birth, it's probably female. I don't know how that works either with pineapples. You know how it is. Some plants, you know, are hermaphroditic. Some plants, each plant has like its own actual sex. Like ginkgos. You know, you got male ginkgo trees and female ginkgo trees. And if you don't want the entirety of your street to smell terrible every spring, you plant just the male ginkgo trees, unlike a certain other city that will remain unnamed, that planted a bunch of female ginkgo trees along all these different streets back in like the middle part of the 20th century. And now every single spring, it smells like rotten milk because the fruits fall off the female trees. They're not really fruits. They're seeds. They're fleshy seeds. They look like fruits. Anyway, they rot and they smell bad until you get used to it. Then it's just weird. Call it Nora? Not sure how much the... Does, does the pineapple speak Japanese? Uh-oh.
Because, like, Nora would be something you would name a stray cat in Japanese. Not sure a giant man-eating mountain pineapple would want to be called something that you could also call a stray cat. It's like naming it Fluffy. Or Oliver. Oops. I'll just deal with all the stuff my other teammates don't have the time to do. Uh-oh. Well, that was pretty good. I didn't save Bella. The pineapples are in hibernation, but Nora the giant pineapple seems to like it. Also, someone in the B class is named Nora Jerk. I went to school with a girl named Miko. I don't remember what language her name came from, though. It wasn't Japanese. But, you know. Two-syllable words. They'll show up in various languages, I guess. Someone in the B class is named Nora Jerk. Not with the jerk part. Yeah, I, I assume that the, jer the jerk part was referring to me. If I'm just talking to fill in airtime and not thinking about what it is I'm saying, obviously I'm going to be a jerk sometimes. Or a lot of the time. Wow, look at the same. Such a credit to my teams. That was scary. I should have stayed on the wall. I'm gonna say goodbye and cookie attack. don't expect it to become a thing that everything you attack me with, I respond in kind. Alright, 15 minutes or until we fight our next king. job, Bella.
Okay, so not a situation. Uh, not quite. Good job, team. See my teammates using that ride on over here. Yay, I get the X splash this time. It's my turn. I've also got my crab tank, which is like would have been great if they given this if they given this second kit for X Blocker Crab Take would have been wonderful. They're taking the ink rail. Not getting back home from this. I'm not sure who saved me there. So we probably have time for one more outing. And then I gotta call a day on this stream, and I will be back on Thursday. Hopefully I will have my brain more in one piece on Thursday, and we can do better salmon running. Is it still going to be this rotation on Thursday? Seeing as this one just started. Let's see, the current rotation ends... 4 a.m. Thursday, my time. So, next time is going to be on... Spawning Grounds. I haven't gotten 999 there yet. It's a pretty easy-to-use comp. Thursday we get to use the ball point splatling. Which is very nice and versatile. Can do a lot of damage really fast, short range. Turn that corner.
I think we're at hazard level max when it's like 30 at wave one. playing right now. Grab egg. Alright, Maws is on me, I think. Yep. Look at me being all observant, knowing how the game works. It's wave two, I've still got one triple link strike left. Hopefully we don't have to use it here. Got it the second time. If I were good at the game, I could have one cycle that. I still have one triple link strike. his time. Well, I'm dead now. Just my teammate decided to kill that slamming lid instead of letting me use it to kill the thing that was going to kill me otherwise. I used a full triple ink strike on a single eel and didn't kill it. Alright, whatever. It's close enough. 
It's close enough to quit in time. So that's gonna be our last round. Let's go see if we got any good goodies. Probably not, because this game is over, and any goodies we get at this point are superfluous. Everything we do in... Everything we do in Splatoon now is just for the fun of it. We have earned all the stuff we're gonna earn. Maybe someday we'll get some gold and salmon run boss badges. Those aren't exactly worth the whole lot in a dead game that's even deader. Two gold scales. Ah, uh, uh. None of these are good. 